Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nah, nah, you know my dad walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. I mean, YouTube, threads, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you definitely have to go ahead and sign up for our membership on our YouTube channel. There you'll see exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else way ahead of time, especially the full-length interviews. Because you know ECO going to chop it up. going to take a while before you can see the whole thing. So go ahead and sign up for the membership. Y'all say you support us. We love y'all. Show your support by signing up. Join our membership. Man, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. We back, man. We fresh back from Chicago, man. We we here. And uh, what better way to start the day than to bring over my guy. Carl Crawford is in the building. 1501 is in the building. Stop playing. And he got us a special guest today. Lil CEO, right? Lil CEO. Man, what's going on? What up, man? What's up? What's up? Man, this glad, I'm just glad to have you, man. I'm going to get all in your business now. Right. I'm going to get in your business. I promise you. I'm gonna yeah. figure it out before the end of this. What we? How long we got with him? How long call? Let him stay. Yeah, how <laughs> yeah. we got with the studio? Ten. Ten. Oh man, no, we up in play games all no, night no, long, no, man. No, no. Hey, listen, man. Thank you for coming back on the show, Carl. Oh, man, sure. you know I'll be watching your movie, man. I love everything you do. Right. I'm a big supporter of 1501. Everybody know it. You know what I'm saying? I make sure they know it. When I, right. Whenever I'm talking to everybody, wherever I'm at, I'll be like, man, if you're going to come to Texas, you got to check in with Carl Crawford. That's the new thing, man. That's the right, new right. label. You really don't have a lot of no labels, really, mm -hmm. when you te come to Texas except for the original ones, you know, like rap a lot. Right. How is it, man, just uh, adjusting in these days and time? How do you keep going? Uh, I think I keep going because I just genuinely have a passion for... Um what I'm doing, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's the only way you can want to keep going in this business because, uh, you know, you get so many things thrown at you. But, uh, you know, I just have a passion to want to help others. My my passion to help others is to see others do well outweigh the bad stuff that happens to me. You know what I'm saying? Man, I be you know? seeing, like, I, I remember one day I asked you, I called you, I was, it, it really was frustrating to me. I was like, man, Carl, how you, why you do this? You know, you remember that? That's you remember why, that? Yeah, He's I like, man, it's I like, just. Man, it's like, man, it's like something in me that just want to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? People thought in the beginning, oh, this little hobby he has, and this, oh, he want to try to look like a G or look cool out the baseball, you know, but it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? It's just I want to apply myself in the area to where I can help others. And, uh, you know, because somebody helped me early on in my life. And I just want to always be that person who can, like, help others do well and, and, and reach whatever it is they're trying to reach out. Man, life. and I noticed that. You just always have uh, tried to reach out to talent, right. tried to figure it out with talent. A lot of times I've I, I seen some times where I feel like it was difficult times because you're trying to bring people up. Right. And a lot of times when you're trying to bring people up, in a, bring them on a label. Mm -hmm. They expect so much out of you. They already think they have arrived because they, a yeah, lot of times when they, when they get there, they feel like, damn it, I'm already a star. They get that, you know, I mean, you'll be surprised what a, uh, you know, what a, uh, you know, a different set of, uh, well, a, a different uh, place of living and, and, and a chain to do. You know I already you know, know it, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about it, Mr. Maker? You're right. What oh, I man. think you should do, you, should, you need to have a counselor. Yeah. When you sign, you have to do this many hours right. with this counselor first because yeah. they'll help them to really you know, process this move. Yeah, well, that's kind of like what we're doing now. Like, we started this artist development program. That's right. what we have him in. You know, okay. it's like, okay, now it's now you don't get the chains early on. As soon as you get there, you know, exactly. all that type of stuff. And people will be like, yo, you need to get him a chain on, and then I'll be like, man, yeah, let me go get, you know, as soon as they get so, that, that chain, you don't know that change. person no more. So, yeah, like, so. like, I mean, the moment they snap the buckle up in the back, <laughs> and psh, it's over, you don't know them no more, is it? And it's amazing, because the chain, I mean, I, I, I don't understand, I wore a jewelry out of time, but, I've been the same. Do you know what a funny thing that remind yeah. me of when you're yeah. saying that? Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> It reminds me of a lot of men who say, man, as soon as these women sign the paper, that we married, <laughs> uh, everything changes. I don't know. All I know is it's, it's, it's amazing how a person can be this person and then all of a sudden they that person. But, you know, at the end of the day, I've kind of grown used to it and um, 
So now I've known to make a, a, a few adjustments that I've mm-hmm. made up to this point, and you know uh, we've been working with little CEO, and, and you seeing his progress, his yeah. progression yeah. little by little, and yeah. he don't got no chain on yet. Not everybody, yet. everybody loving him. Yeah. But whenever he do get mm-hmm. it, I'm gonna make sure that he stay. Kind of like this, you well, know. At you least can't I, use you know, humble no more. You can't never say you know, they, they don't, don't want to use humble. Are, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? It won't be as bad. It's as trial humble. and error. Yeah, yeah, so you know? that's yeah. Good. Yeah. I, I think, I, man. Listen, man. You you show them everything that some of these people hadn't even ever left their community. Right. Then you take them and you fly them to Vegas. You fly right. them to Cali. You fly them to New North Carolina. They doing a press run right. in it's Atlanta. Right. They in ATL. It's work. For, yeah. for for you and me and him because yeah. yeah. we've been yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. But for them, oh, this is a damn vacation. Yeah. This is <laughs> listen. I ain't never been to Vegas. Yeah. I ain't never been to Cali. I ain't right. never been to North Carolina. Right. I ain't never been to Jamaica. Right. Oh, you fly me out the country to go do a press run? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and just, it'll just go to the head so quick, man. And it's like. Yo, we ain't even got started yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we just getting started, and um, it's just that you do a little bit, and uh, it just go. I, I, want, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Question. L- let's see. Yo. Okay, you said that you're also you're in artist development. How long have you been doing artist development right now? Shit, since August. Like they had picked me up right before I started school. Mm-hmm. Like a couple days before I started school. Okay, so what have you learned in artist development? Um, I learned that like it's a process. It really a process. Cause I thought I had everything figured out until like I was trying to do stuff my way and it wasn't working. And then they had to tell me like just let us take control and now I'm learning. It still say everything. Wow, I'm telling you right now. Uh, I can't wait to see how how you erupt here in a little <laughs> bit. And people get on there. That fame monster sure, get you. Me too. You know, <laughs> that fame like, monster. You know, like, like him, he really like, you know, uh, kind of like a little mature amongst his years, you know, as far as like yeah. being a senior. So got a good work ethic. And uh, you know what I'm saying? He takes, um, uh, you know, in, in sports we have this term called coachable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like you got that tag on you, that's like the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So wow. That's kind of like what he is. Like we could tell him something and like, like he'll do it, you know what I'm saying? And he don't forget, you know what I'm talking about? And even in the midst of, of working and shooting videos, he remember the little stuff that we told him. He able to apply it like, like after just one time of telling him, you know, his focus don't really get like, you know, when there's girls around and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff that can distract you. He uh, he like, for a youngster, he's able to stay focused. You know, it's really kind of um, surprising and uh, refreshing to see. Man, but I, I want to ask you something, man, because I, I go back to the early days of uh, Megan Thee Stallion, right? right? And y'all was starting out. And, you know, something I just keep thinking about, Megan Thee Stallion, right, when she first started, uh, you came in, after she had gotten started, or no, she she had she went viral. She had a she went viral with the uh, song that she had. She had been you know working with her mom. You know what I'm saying for a little while. You know grinding like how any artist would be doing. Mm-hmm. Really, you know? And but, then you come into to the yeah. Picture. Then I come in to play. You know what I'm saying. I slapped the, the dollars on top of it. But that, that's me, what I want to say. Like like, yeah. like yeah. when you put, came into play. Put what, put year <laughs> what year was that? What year? What year? What year was that? That was like just guessing. Like 2017. You know okay, and when did you when did you get out of the league? 2016. This is what I'm trying to get to. Now, see, now <laughs> yeah. I'm painting my picture. Yeah, okay. Yo, mm-hmm. stardom was still real fresh when it come down to the league. Right. People knew you were Carl Crawford, the guy that got the hundred million dollar contract with 140 million, right? Right, right. People knew that, right? right. right. So when you and Megan link up. That had to be an impact, okay? Oh, that was a major impact. You see what I'm saying? The whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody want to know who was this girl that Carl, you know, is, is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? You know, they could say they everybody knew them, but nobody, nobody that knew me knew Megan Thee Stallion. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's a different world. Yeah, like nobody, like zero people. So, but that's why I brought yeah. that up, because yeah. I'm looking at the time guidelines, right? right. If you came out in two, 2000. 16, 16 and then you met start working with her in 2017 year. just a year you still they don't know if the nigga might go back to the league at no, this point I was getting you off see of, what I'm saying? I, was, I was getting off of the comeback too you know, to go play with other teams and stuff yeah. like that but I really was like I really was focused and serious about what I was gonna do and I I wanted to you know hit it like unexpectedly because I knew everybody was gonna say 
oh, he ain't, this ain't nothing serious right here. This is like some bullshit. He just want to go fuck with hoes and do all this type of shit. But, uh, you know, so I took advantage of people, you know, letting their guard down, and I pressed it as hard as I could. I knew I had that little window right there. So yeah. I, I went out there. Going viral yeah. back then was a big thing. Don't get it twisted, but right. it was not comparable to being a multimillionaire no. that had just left the league. Okay, right. let's be no. real for a second. Exactly. And I know this because I, I know this because when I see certain players, even up to the day, people who whether it be Emmett or whether it be, it's just something about. That sport money y'all be coming out with. Uh, you know, we, 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 in, we introduced uh, Megan to the money. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. That's it. You know, all the athletes, you know what I'm saying, that was watching what I was doing or, 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 or whoever people, you know, sophisticated people around the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They saw me move this girl around early on and, you know, they took notice. And, yes, yeah, she had the viral moment, you know what I'm saying, in that little arena right there. But that was small. You know what I'm saying? That was real small. That wasn't really nothing. Uh, compared to what you know, what I introduced them to, you know what exactly, I'm and that's, that's that's what I wanted to. Uh, and since I'm on that, just we, I guess we could stay right there. Like I seen, well, I, I want to say congratulations oh, on congratulations ending. on what? Because that whole issue is over. Did it end? It's over. over. It's over. It's it's over. over. It's it's over. over. I saw. Because I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna go back in. I was it's, it's over with. It's over with. Lord, you know, hey, we I know through, you're we happy. Through, we went through a four-year battle, you know, with right. that situation. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, we had to do that because, you know, for me, her, T. Ferris, when we all set out to do mm -hmm. this, we all still where we wanted to be. He's working for, he's being her little dude boy, you know what I'm saying? And she's, you know, a big star and, you know, I'm got the label going on, so why do we have to go through all that just to get to this point? We still right. got here, you know what I'm saying? But right. so at the end of the day, I just wish that, you know, we didn't have to go through all this just to get to the same point we all was trying to get to anyway. Did and she, we, like, I think she posted uh, that she was independent now or something. I think right. I've seen that. Right. And she was pretty yeah, much. she's uh, independent now. So that's good. Like I said, we wish it. her the best. You know what I'm saying? Like she, I never, always to this day, if you go watch my interviews, I always say me and Megan never had a problem mm -hmm. with each other. We Bro, would you problem. still talk? Do y'all, would y'all still talk on I'm, a good, I'm, like I'm, a friendship? I, this is the business. You got to continue to do business over here. You Man, know let me what tell you Like, so. this is how it goes. Like, I learned so much now. Like, this is just how it goes. I don't feel bad for myself. This happens to people like me in the music business. Exactly. Every single day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you just. Go and get yours, and then you move on. You know, no, no hard feelings. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I was a big Megan fan. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't want you to get upset I when she come out in the nice was, little, you know, you know I, get out. Hey, I'm married. Hey, I'm, I, I'm in the room. I'm trying to stay, keep my composure. She walked through. Ow, you know, hey. and I'm looking like, dang, you know, it was a present. It was that a big was the whole thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Though. She's a lot more classier than sexy red them and this new thing we dealing with. Oh, we, we got some new yeah. stuff we're dealing with now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, it's a whole yeah, different right ball now. game you know, now, but yeah, I'm man. telling you, man. Really? But when Megan was classy enough, you know, we thought that was bad. Yeah. We thought Cardi B, we thought uh, Nicki Minaj. I was like, dang, man, they looking. Man, she got a, she got shots, don't she? You know, we all, you know, we on it like that. <laughs> but now. This new thing, they'll just jump out and give you some sex on Instagram and hey something man. go viral next thing you know. Hey man. You say, what happened? Hey man, they, yeah. they, it's wild. It's and crazy. my booty all like, brown. It's, it's ratchet. You know it's, it's, it's ratchet city. <laughs> nah, man, it's ratchet. But it's how ratchet. you deal with that being a label that, because um, I've seen where you had like different events with all these young TikTokers and whatever, yeah. and a lot of them are doing crazy stuff. Yeah. And you're looking to sign someone maybe even like that. I just I just have to go with what the culture is going with. You know what I'm saying? It's some I can't be the person who's like policing and stuff like that. Cause one thing about this music stuff, like it's been like that since the fifties. Mm -hmm. It was always something that the parents didn't like. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And uh, you they they thought it was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just it just keeps going and keeps growing. So it's, it's gonna continue to always do that. So um, I just go try to find the best or who I think fits uh, my my label or whatnot and. And, and, and roll with it, you know. Man, I, anything, can, anything yeah. might go crazy now. Right, that's what I, I'm saying. I, you, you know, don't, you uh, don't know. I mess with it after I got off my cycle or anything. These hoes are crazy, man, nigga. Like, I, I remember. Ain't that. no telling what the hell the old gonna do I next. Know. You remember what? I don't, what? I don't Tony know. Neal, he, what these old? Huh? Tony what did Neal he call me? These uh, hoes is on fire. You know Tony Neal? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He called me. But I remember he first called me. He's like, "Come on, man, you gotta go." <laughs> you hear this girl? And you know. 
She said my 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 pussy pink and my booty hole brown, and I'm like, yo, bro, like don't 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 tell me about no chick that you probably just trying to like you know help out or you might like or something. And um, he was like, nah, man, I'm serious. And I was like, man, I was like, Tony, man, whatever. I even get in the club, you know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, I just hit the whole club. You thought he was playing? And I said, oh shit, <laughs> that's what he's talking. About. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, you know what I'm so saying? Because he talked me about it way, way early. Way early. On. He, you know, he on the radio on DJ, right. so he was telling me about it early on, and because you know, he always telling me about um, other artists, other you know artists, saying, yeah. Who you trying to bring? Do you to wish me? that you had like said, okay, I'll, I'll listen it? I mean, you know, what I'm saying I don't <laughs> know how I would have took it, you know? Because I'm telling you, if he tell you when we had the conversation, you know, I was just like, man. You come tripping. on, come on, Tony. You know what I'm saying? But I hear you out. You know what I'm saying? And for sure. Do you think girl. you think you had an imprint in in like the way you supported all the women? You know, you you supported a lot of that was your main um, thing. The women from Erica to Megan the Stallion to a couple of the other artists that I seen, you really pressed forward on you knew that the women was a niche. Right. You knew that that was a place where you know that the industry was going, and now it's really you know you see yeah, the, it. Yeah, the, yeah. I saw the way early, you know, uh, with uh, with Cardi B early on, even before she, for Bodak Yellow came out, and really? she was just putting her little projects out, and I was like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, something's finna happen right here. I see, you know what I'm saying? It's like they they keep trying, and when she hit, you know what I'm saying? I knew I was doing the same thing, so I wasn't gonna be. I knew it was gonna be long before. Before we came with Megan, and then so I, was, I see that go, I see Bodak, uh, Bodak Yellow go, then I see Megan and Stallion come, and I'm like, okay, well this is a wave, you know. So when they was telling me when the stuff happened with Megan, they was like, oh, um, uh, don't look for another girl. I'm like, Shh, you crazy? I'm about to go find another one now, and that's you know Erica Banks come. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, I, want, yeah, so, I, I gotta <laughs> so, ask you about this, man. I'm, I'm so you're always Erica. looking for a girl. Yeah, I, I, no, was, he I was, was looking for was one, but I knew in that moment that I could I could keep coming with a certain type right. of girl, and uh, you know it, it was a good chance it was gonna work. Let mm. me let, let me because when you think about like like um, the women that was articulating the styles, right. Meg, Megan got a great flow. Right. She really can rap, bro. Mm -hmm. Like and then you, Nicki Minaj really can rap. Right. Like you, she, she gonna go well, in. Nicki Minaj is the best. You know? That's yeah. out of all of them. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with right. you. She is she articulates uh, better than all of them when it comes to rap. Okay. But Megan the Stallion ain't far behind. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Right. She the first female. You actually birth helped birth the first female rap artist out of Texas, man. Right. So kudos sure. to you for doing hey, that. Appreciate you, man. Ain't nobody you know else done that. You yeah. can't never take that away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't take it away as much as they want to try to defame me in that whole process. You know what I'm saying? You will never do it. Sorry, T. Ferris, you not you. You just oh, here we go. Have you not you know forgiven T. Ferris? Well, I have forgiven T. Ferris. Okay, Ferris, you gotta forgive everybody. But <laughs> exactly. at the end of the day, I won't never forget because you know Whoa. what I'm saying. We was partners, and it wasn't no need for you to do that to me. You know what I'm saying. You didn't switch sides. At the end of the day, you left the boss chair to go be a runner. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't never seen nobody do that before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we literally left millions on the table to go run behind this girl that me and you were supposed to have been doing this. The whole time, you know what I'm saying. So, at the end of the day, kudos to y'all, and I hope, I hope, you know, I hope you happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at yeah. the end of the day, uh, you know, you let you, you dropped a, you you dropped a bunch of millions chasing after you know running behind somebody. Hypothetically, yeah. what would have happened? Do you foresee if you would have been able to harness that whole ordeal and and maneuver it? Like, do you feel like? This she was still well, got they, to the same destination. Yeah, mm. because we still would have connected with everybody. You know, the whole thing was to just keep the unity together for the for the sake of Texas and to just show that you know what I'm saying there was a new label that other people can come out and just you know we Megan was not supposed to be the only person. You know what I'm saying we were supposed to keep doing this, keep coming back on. I was on my Harry Tubman shit. You know, what I'm <laughs> still is. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, but uh, you know, it just closed a lot of doors in that moment. You know what I'm saying. Right. And we just did all that work to to bust it through. You know, my whole thing was the okay, we got Megan going, you know what I'm saying? We I understood that I was never supposed to be with the artist. Like I didn't I didn't want to be with them the whole time. I knew I was supposed to get them to a certain level, you know, and then come back and do it all over again. And we supposed to do it as many times as we could. But you know, um when they got there it was like, oh shit, fuck everything else, you know what I'm saying? We like we can finna get ours and we gone, which is cool. I understand now it's the business. But, you know, had we all stayed together 
uh, you know, you, you just never know what we would have built out of Texas because everybody would have wanted to sign with us. Look at all the people that was coming from Kinderman, Libra Jolie, mm -hmm. you had Fast Wayne down there, you had South Walker down there. You got all these people that, you know, I probably could have had under one umbrella had, yeah. had we all stayed good. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And that's, that makes that's, sense. Yeah, that's a yeah, big powerhouse right there. But for whatever reason, they didn't want me to be the face of it. They didn't want me. They, 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 they took that face card away from me. They didn't want me to have that. And, uh, you know, I'm um, always feel some type of way about that because I came out of baseball, I, you know. So I came with the money and stuff. I didn't. I didn't come here to like make y'all money. I came here to get an experience. You know what I'm saying? And T. Ferris and Megan took that experience away from me. You know. What I'm but I'm. I'm gonna get it back. But for those, you know, little time period. You know, they took the experience away from me, and that's what I came over here to get. You know, wow! I, mean? I think you're doing a great job just yeah. swinging that bat, still. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My son, my son just got. You know, he, my son, <laughs> swinging the bat for me now. Both exactly, of them, actually. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. that. I that. I, 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 but I, I ain't talking about know. swinging the bat that way. I'm just saying, oh. just going at the, oh, okay. the whole you situation. Yeah. You know, yeah. plus basically, you wouldn't learn unless you fall. Right, stuff. you yeah. have yeah. to go yeah. through to learn. It was so easy in the beginning, and I didn't have you know, and um. I learned the bad stuff real quick, you know, but at the end of the day, I've, I've, I, I, I had so much thrown at me in those four years that, uh, you know, it's definitely taught me a lot, and I think it's going to help me moving forward as I, as I push 1501 to, like, another, you know, level. What do you yeah. think about, yeah. about people, yeah. you know, um, when, they, when, when they see that when you were doing what you was doing, you actually, uh, when everything started to go haywire, right. you went and— Linked up with Jay Prince, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I do you call? Uh, and and we love Jay Prince. Right. Jay Prince is a, a pinnacle for the whole South, not just right. for Texas. Right. But just uh, what do you think when people see that? Okay, he went to Jay. You know why he didn't figure it out on his own? Why? Right. You know what do you think about that? Because you know at the, at that time, you know she ran to Jay Z. You know. Yeah, I remember that. So I'm got these. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the music like that, right? I'm like, yo, I don't know I, I don't, who to I'm call. I'm just getting into this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know no lawyers to call, you know what I'm saying, or nothing like that. So I'm I'm like, hey, I only knew one person to call, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I hit up Jay. And was, how was that <laughs> call? Like, how was it when he when you first went? You know, because you, you, you was like, man, like, hey, man, they over there, they finna leave on me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what happened was, where we was at, you know what I'm saying? We was we was somewhere. Shout out to my unsung hero, Devon Stevens. Man. Okay, you know yeah, saying? I remember you said that yeah, last shout time. Shout out to my unsung hero because you know, um, had he not like tipped me warned when, you, yeah. yeah, warned me when he did, they would have got away with just slipping the whole thing from up under me, right under my nose, and I they wouldn't have known nothing about it. But uh, once I got that little warning, and I I was getting a little feelings from T. Ferris, you know how he, you know they was doing little stuff, wouldn't tell me times where I had to be certain places, yeah. wouldn't have, you know all the little. The little whole shit they start to do when they trying to back away from you. You could feel it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I went back to Jay. I'm like, yo, Jay, something ain't right, man. Uh, you know, um, Stevens told me what's going on. They, they trying to, you know, put me out. And, 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 and T. Ferris acting weird, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, acting a little sassy like. And so, so you had already spoke to Jay before you even. Nah, I, I hadn't. I hadn't. I hadn't spoken to him about this situation. Me and Jay had talked about it, like, but not like on the level of just like. See, for me, I always wanted to just work with Jay anyway. I felt like when I got making to a certain point, I was gonna come to Jay anyway because I was gonna ask him for help on what to do. That's right. T. Ferris didn't want that because he knew what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? So he knew somebody would have been watching. So he always kept me like saying shit like, "Oh, you know, you know." He kept he he didn't want me like talking to Jay as much, so I wouldn't. First time I ever talked to Jay, I kind of was like, nah, Jay, you know, I'll come back later, maybe I'll think about it. And then, you know, gave this fool T. Ferris more time to fuck over me, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck, I should've, uh, I should've, like, had I, uh, had I would've came in, you know, when I was supposed to, had I would've came in when I was supposed to, you know, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, uh, what happened? Yeah, so if you yeah, so after I get the if you came when you supposed when, when, supposed when, when you supposed to talk go to him, Jay, none of that would happen. This stuff would happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But T. Ferris, he 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 knew what to say to me to make me like kind of pause the Jay thing for a second, and then you know they went with they move. And then that's when I went back with Jake. Went back to talk to Jay about. At least it. you went back because yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, yeah. he's one of those guys that you really, you know, he knows the business. He when I like I said when I spoke to Birdman, he big up uh, Jay and right. and you know uh, whenever you speak into like 
anybody when it comes to something. I've heard Master P over and over again. Right. Big up Jay, you know, all these people from Tony Dre, all these people, anybody, you see the movement, it all the foundation have to be there. A lot of times people try to make it just a H Town thing. Right. But really it is a when it comes to the music industry, mm -hmm. it's a whole southern thing when it comes to Jay Prince, because he was the one that first initiated this stuff. Yep. So for niggas to try to go away from it, like, oh, he ain't who he is and all that. That's, that's really hating, to be honest with you. Because well, you know, he, he first did it. He the, did it first in the South. And yeah. ain't no sense in niggas trying to act like that ain't the way it happened. I'm just going to be real. You can say how you want to say it. Yeah, he's the um, blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Came Definitely. Them, yeah. So I ain't playing with that. Yeah, so he uh, he gave us the blueprint to everything. And, uh, you know, we all follow it. Like, it's the indie blueprint. And that's what made me want to do it. Well, what do you mean? Because you from Fifth Ward? Yep. So he from Fifth Ward. Right. So when you first, we well, think about this for a minute. You from Fifth Ward. He from Fifth Ward. Like when you first heard, what was the song? What was it, when you first heard about the Ghetto Boys? I'm gonna go there with you now, cause you you for some reason you ran over here trying to deal with this music stuff. So I ain't never asked you about yeah. this. Like what was your first experience dealing with Jay Prince and the Ghetto Boys? Let me tell you, like so. In Fifth Ward, everybody, we all know, we all used to go to this place called Lockwood Skate Ring. You know okay. what I'm saying? I heard that before. And you know what I'm saying? It was like the soundtrack for mm. rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, just from all that, from from Scarface to Willie D to, uh, um, um, you know, Bushwick Bill to all of them, you know. But everybody, everybody, uh, first song is probably like, that they familiar with is like, Mind playing tricks on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was this one song called Bring It On, you know what I'm saying, that they had in the skating ring that we all know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, that's how far back we go back with it, you know what I'm talking about, you know? And you got, um, I think, um, uh, Pimp C and them released a couple of uh, projects over there with them. And yeah, whatnot. yeah. But, um, yeah. Well, listen, hey, hey. Listen, we, we, you know, we, we, it was ingrained in us, like, from day one. So you walking around like with skating ring and we know every song and from, um, you know the soundtrack from um, what's the movie? Jason lyrics. Yeah, Scarface, Mr. Scarface. Yeah, that boy uh, bad. Money and the power. You know what I'm saying? What about the one stuff? Jay rapped on? The only one. <laughs> Damn it, feel you. good to be a gangster. Yeah, but see, look, what, what, what I found out. What I found out from Jay is that like he was on a lot of that stuff. Like really, you don't realize it. They like, just didn't the song, put it out. Money and the power. Like he had to tell me one day. He showed it to it you. Was like uh, you know how the hook go, money and, and the, the power. power. Money, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's J voice right there. Yo, I so, didn't even know that. Yeah, but he's just so he was telling me, and so uh, I was like, "Oh man!" So you know, it's like little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But uh, all them songs, you know, we was jamming all that stuff. As kids, yeah. as kids, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what What do you think about like like when you look at where 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 music is now? Right. Far as far as the way you know it comes. When you think about that time we just spoke on, going all the way into all the transitions from the screw, DJ screw, and all the different things from UGK being influenced heavily with the whole H-Town, you know, combination, like, right. what do you think about where it is today? What, the Houston uh, rap the scene? Houston, the Houston rap scene. Well, I mean, it seemed like the um, it seemed like the older guys that made like a, it's like, I don't know if it's because of streaming or whatnot, but they've made like a, a comeback to where they they doing more shows and they still kind of like the popular people, the youngsters. You know, you might have like the uh, well, I ain't gonna call them a youngster, but under that level, like maybe like the South Walkers and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? They still doing their thing right now, and uh, you got uh, the younger crew right now is just a little, just a little lost out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, they might have a few guys who can who can rap here and there, but you know. Um, for the most part, when they can rap, then you know it's time to sign and do get down to the business. And Houston rappers, man, they like like that entitlement stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's coming from maybe. See, I always think people from out of town work better from out of town. Like maybe if a Houston artist signed with like somebody from New York, they might show them a little more respect because they're out of town or whatnot. But it's something about being in Houston, dealing with Houston people. And that the entitlement just seemed like to go way up here, you know what I'm saying? First off, they gonna they gonna when you ask them to sign you, they gonna tell you that they want a million dollars to sign, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So, and right I don't care the if they bat. put out one record. I don't care if they put out one record or ain't stream one day. <laughs> if they from music, they want a million. They want a million dollars to sign, you know what I'm saying? And you just be like, hey, man, man, listen, I'm just man. doing my due diligence right now. <laughs> I can tell everybody I tried, but hell no, nah, I ain't giving you. A million <laughs> what did you think about Travis Scott when he first came on the scene? 
Now he, you know what I'm saying, he kind of, he, he went a different route. He didn't really come up through the Houston scene. He kind of right. went through uh, Atlanta or something like that and yeah, came he, out through T.I., but he still came out hard, but he didn't he didn't come up the normal route that we would see, you know what I'm saying, like, like an Ace town person do, but at the same time, he's still Ace town and, uh, you know, when he come out, he make that different kind of music. He make that. You went to one of his shows before? Never have. Man, that's it's like, different. Man, listen, man, I was at one of his shows and literally three people walked by me. They passing out. I'm seeing eyes rolling back. Uh, really? Fame. Like Michael Jackson? Yeah, man. So I was, Travis Scott show is crazy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why. So, yeah, yeah. Damn, I don't want to go. I'm, I'm I mean, too old for my eyes they, be rolling back they, in my damn head. You know which one I ain't be, be doing all that with y'all. Scott or Drake? Which concert more people be passing? I ain't passing never been out? to a Drake concert. I ain't either. He was just no. in Houston. At, Steve you didn't go? Shout out. He was in Dallas concert, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I just, you know, I just can't see myself standing in no big crowd. I'm just yeah. gonna be real with you. But, they but, gotta but, have Drake, a lazy but, bar but, set up for me. You know what I'm saying? I would think a lot of people be passing out. Show is in like a like a stadium, right? See, what's uh um Travis Scott? Travis Scott was like outside, like a festival. So it's like you know what I'm saying? Like like you had like a. He called it Astroworld, so he was trying to recreate Astroworld. Right. You know what I'm Damn. Yeah, Man, so. little CEO, we ain't forgot about you. I'm trying to, <laughs> believe me, you better be ready when I shoot that way, boy. You see how I've been hitting with them overs and unders over here? Yeah. You see how I'm rolling, huh? Yeah. I'm coming with it. So now ready. you got to be ready. Be I'm going to massage you in a minute, man. You got me there. Man, you know, the thing I just, you know, I, I love to see this connection because right. my biggest problem is to see, like, People who don't, we gotta reach back to the youth because it starts with the youth, bro. Right. So to see this young man, you know, here and, you know, what did you see in the CEO that made you pick him? Because you could have picked anybody. <laughs> well, here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, first off, I got a new team, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the new team in 15 with my new staff. One of them back here right now, Darren. What is Darren supposed to be doing? Man, Darren back here, you know, he, he, he one of the guys that helped me develop. My artist, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, so he's he an A&R type dude. Yeah. Girl, okay. You know what I'm saying? So he, you know what I'm saying? Like, so me and him, well, I got a thing. And, I, and uh, where I go on my live, I let people send their music in. And then we listen to them. Y'all found Erica Banks the same way. It's like a review or some sort? Yeah, so I let them play the music. So same thing. He, I got on my live, you know, hey, y'all send y'all music to the email that, that Darren putting up. And we're going to play it live and see who, you know, was lit. And, you know, we playing it. And, you know, they can't see what me and Darian doing, but you know, as soon as we heard here, we like, you know what I'm saying? What's <laughs> going on? Hey, man. Yeah, so you know, uh, so you know, after that was over with, I'm like, yo, what you think? You know what I'm saying? He was like, I had actually forgot about him a little bit, and he was like, yo, let's see, yo, you know what I'm saying? But he said it in a manner like, like, he wasn't like, hey, you remember that kid that uh, was on there? He was like, yeah, let's see, yo. So I could tell by the way he said it that he felt a certain type of way about it. So I'm like, well, look, man, if you, uh, you know, get it to get it all right, and let me see. You know, what I'm talking about if you thinking something, let's let's go. So he, you know, locked in with him, and uh, you know, what I'm saying brought him on down, and we locked in with him. That's and, hard, man. And that's How man did you feel about it when, yeah. when you heard about it? He from Dallas. Yeah. Okay. When you heard about it, when you knew that they were finna lock in with you. How did that make you feel? And what did you think? You like, man, let me. I'm. I don't know about this. So would you like, man? This is a great opportunity. I'm rolling with it. <laughs> oh shit My my mama had sent me like And then So I guess it was just meant to song Cause my mama don't send me No music wise and that Yeah So my mama sent me And then it came to this Oh so your, your mama mom it? Your yeah, mom really? the one submitted it Yeah like Nah like my mama sent me live Oh she sent you the live Yeah she sent me the live And I'm like I know I done seen him before somewhere. Oh. So I just went something <laughs> I in I love these young niggas I know I done seen this Yeah before. I know I done seen him somewhere So I went something to him and shit, they will fuck with it. And then he gonna say, he gonna say, man, go on, go on, cut out the lie, man. I don't find what I want. Yeah. Oh, he damn. He said, yeah, cut out the lie, find what I want. How did you feel when he when you heard that? Shit. I mean, I, I felt the may, but it was just like, you know, people don't told me that before. Yeah, so like really this like, nigga just cap. Yeah. I don't know if this nigga gonna come get me. Cause you know what yeah, what like, nigga going like, to get a nigga this easy? Yeah. 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 Nah, right. but I knew I knew people don't play because you know what I'm saying. I be telling people all the time, look, tap in. They be like, man, you don't be listening to the music. You don't be, I be like, I do. I just don't respond, but you know what I'm saying? I listen and all that. So, you know, like I say, there's going to be another case where the people are always like, where you find them? I be like, bro, it don't even really be hard. You know, it's just got to know when you like, when it's time to dive in, you know? So, uh, 
Hey man, shout out to the Instagram live. Hey yeah. man, I gotta ask you about Erica though, man, because right. I, you know, I heard this diss track. I, it, it had some stuff in there. Right. Um, it was something going on with. What is the deal with y'all? Is she on the label? Is she not on the label? Yes. It's, it's just you know. Artists is she have, 15 on one still? have to learn, you know, about their contracts, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I always get the blame once y'all, once they learn what's going on. So, yeah, she's assigned to uh, 15 on one in black and white. You know what I'm saying? We was with Warner. And she ended up getting dropped for Warner. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. How long ago was that? That was what? January? Two, something like about a year ago, something like that. Wow, so she, she got dropped. But all these other runs, when I seen y'all doing different press runs, right. When when I seen y'all doing different uh, concerts, right. different was that you putting up money to make push her as an artist? At what time upon the time? Was I'm that? talking about far as when I seen y'all do press runs after that, where y'all was going oh, around, we was going like yeah. New York and stuff. New like, well, York. Well, 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 we was trying to. Um, well, well, let me get back to this real quick because this is important. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When Warner dropped her, all her rights reverted back to 1501. You know okay. what I'm saying? So she didn't understand that part or neither did her team. So She didn't know it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they claim that this is something rare, but Warner put that in there and they, everything reverted back to 1501. So now it's just like the first day when she signed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was obligated to do certain things. So once I started spending on the situation, we was good. But then, you know, it just went left. I got a question because yeah. you said after she's dropped from Warner and come yeah. back to you, it was almost like the contract reverse reverted back to like day one. Right. But from the time you got her till she signed with Warner, how long of a period was that? How long did you have her? I was, we signed her during 2020. I remember that. 2020, I think, yeah. And, how, and when did she join 1501? Uh, 2020. 2020. Oh, the same year, mm -hmm. and you got her straight to Warner. No, no, no. She no. went to Warner like the next year. The next, the next year. year. Yeah. Okay. So the contract she signed with you, how many years did she have to be with you? Four projects. You, Four you projects. Know what she did when she first came to Houston. Her and her parents said, "Hey, um, we want the making the stallion deal." <laughs> and I said, yeah. "That what they told you?" Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I said, "Okay." Cool. What is that? I said, "Now the people that advised me." told me don't ever give nobody a contract like that again because you gave way too much, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. I gave making a, a 40, 60 split of the profit. Wow. You know what I'm so I wasn't ever supposed to ever do that again, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't. I, I wanted to get in business quick and I, you know, shouldn't have did it. I didn't listen to the people again. So I ended up giving her the, the making the stallion 40, deal. 60. Yeah. Mm. You gave her the making the stallion. Yeah, and, four D, and four yeah. Pow Wow, records. Bam Boom right. deal. Right. Where are you basically right. uh -huh. forty sixty split? Yeah, gave her the same thing. That she they asked for the same thing, and I gave her a higher signing bonus than making the stadium. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So you know, so did that too, and um, you know, but when we got the we got the Warner, and then I I got in the uh, start. You know, uh, when Jay became my mentor and stuff like that. Jay you know, already done so put you up on game. Jay was like, "Hey man." We can't keep doing this. We bro. can't you know be know doing these so 40, 60, 60 we 40 deals. Yeah, we went, <laughs> <laughs> he like, hell no. So you switched it in the middle so of all we, of that. So we went we went and switched it. But she signed off on it, you know what I'm saying? We signed off on it when we went to Warner, you know what I'm saying? And they took over the contract, the deal, you know what I'm saying? And um, we switched the percentage. We gave her a higher, a bigger signing bonus. But we put the percentages back, back how they're supposed to be. Right. How they normally supposed to be. Right? Yeah. So, you know, that's the deal that's supposed to carry us all the way through. You know what I'm saying? So we came down on ancillaries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and when she came high, back, you know it saying? was less than really what she initially started with. Percentage wise. Percentage but wise. She got the money up front. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, you know, um when Warner released her, that we were ready back into that contract right mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. know? And um and um, you know, they just didn't understand that part and thought they was out the contract. And a couple of things happened with, um, you know, a new staff member that I had brought on to the label. And, um, you know, hun, um, that person and Erica didn't get along too well, and it ended up being real bad. And, wow. Um, you know, it was a misunderstanding about some money that was owed from, from Warner, you know, and they figured it was me, you know what I'm saying? And, um, bam. I go, you're this. That's, that's how the song come out. That's how the song come yeah, out. Cause yeah. What did you think when you first heard it? Did you feel like it was a slap in the face? Or did I'm you just feel like, well, 
Well, at that time, you know, because we was we was doing everything at a, in, in good faith at that time, so it was really shocking to everybody because we was working towards like doing things well. So we was like, "Damn, what where was did this? you hear that? Where was you? <laughs> heard on everything else? You know they said, "Oh, you was on flipping through." First off, I'm not tripping about no this though. Let me just tell y'all because if you put me in a song, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna do nothing but repost it. You put me into this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just repost it and just. I noticed that you be doing no, that. What's that saying that? I know, I know, you know when what Easy with this, and he yeah. said, "Dre Day only make Easy Pay hey, Day." That's You're it, man. Like I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like unless it was like a diss, or well, somebody saying they finna, you know, kill me or something like yeah. that. You know, and then the series, but that type of little little stuff, I was like. Hey man, look, we still you still sign to the label. I don't care if this if everybody loving me getting this right now and and and, and, and this song finna take off. Hey, let me let me do my part to help too. Repost. <laughs> wow, well, let me ask you. Let me ask hey, you. Yeah. Go back a little bit. Like, do you? Because hey, it's all, all the proceeds coming this way. Please I want to ask you. Know you do, do you think yeah. like like cause uh -huh. y'all had a great chemistry together? Oh. Do you think you and Erica? Do you think that y'all can uh, ever well, get you know things straight saying? back the out? Thing with this with Erica, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, she started doing the show, um, what's that, Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes when the cameras and the lights come, you know, everything just kind of get inflated, meaning, you know what I'm saying, your head. So, um, at the end of the day, we just, we, we got a couple of projects left with her. You know, we want to get the music out there. We want her fans to hear it. We want her to be successful as well. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to move 1501 in a new space to where I'm not arguing with artists and arguing with managers and people and people that want to like run my side of the label, you know what I'm saying? You know, because it's always people in between with the artists, you know what I'm saying? Even like like with Megan, it was T. Ferris manipulating stuff early on, then it, Nash is, is, is Erica and whoever in between, you know, listening or whatever. So it's always something in the middle that kind of like messes with my situation. So I just, when I, when I, when I, Feel that stuff now. I'm just like, yo, let's just do what we gotta do, and let me let me get away from oh, you. you know, you know what you, I'm saying? Yeah. You you yeah. mentioned I'm um, loving hip hop. Right. Would if you know they love drama, right? Right. If they ever reached out to you and say, hey, they, they have. Yeah, they, they trying to bring one to Houston. No way. Yeah, yeah for, like for you and her to, you know, you so know. that's ratings for them. I don't that's think how they're going to do that. So I, I was wondering if you would I ever do something like that. I told them they would let me promote my label, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, don't, I'm not, I, don't, I can give you the hip hop part, I can't give you the love part. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, so if y'all got a spot for me where I can, you know, do that part, then I'm good. But if y'all want to try to set me up with one of these imaginary girlfriends, you know, I can't do it. I got it five baby bitch. mamas, four baby mamas that probably going to be, you know, mm -hmm. just be from the tripping about everything. God, you just, you, see, you mentioned baby mamas or maybe yeah. even a love interest that you have. I don't know right. if you're single or not. Right. But how do they deal with, because sometimes when you see on social media and you see you with all these young girls, the right. kids, the TikTok, stuff they like do. that. Oh, yeah. They, what do they, I, I'm they, sure they, they, they be like, calling oh, when they you. Get, when they get mad, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to hang around young girls? You're going to get it. I'm like, bro, I'm dealing with influences right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is what's going on. They young. I can't help it if they 25 and they look like they 16. Mm -hmm. These are like the kids that didn't make it in sports and stuff. You know, the kids that play sports look more mature. The kids who just like hang around school and you know, they look younger, but they older. So mm -hmm. um, I went through that a lot because you know, it was the party and stuff, but they didn't understand that those influences are numbers. You know what I'm saying? And uh, numbers are gonna uh, make the music you know, make the music go up. That's yeah, but I, I know, up. but I know some of these females also look at right. you as a check, and yeah. they feel like, <laughs> and some of these young TikTokers will come in and say, "Yeah, I'm gonna be, he gonna take care of me," and they're not even thinking about the music. Let me tell you something about them TikTokers. <laughs> Let me tell you something about the influencer world. They all think they like a star, right? Like they don't even care. Like, uh, like they treat me like, uh, like you. <laughs> hey, I'm telling, they treat me like a nobody. You no. know what I'm saying? They like, hey. Hey, get back. We don't know you. We don't know you. Who, who is uh -uh. this? They come in. <laughs> they hey, look. No followers. Look, when I tell you, <laughs> hey, <laughs> trust me, I don't get, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, eventually over time, but I'm telling you, that group over there, that, that community, they don't care that shit about is funny. nothing about who I right. am. <laughs> For real, they it's don't It's the younger care. generation, they, they different. Huh? Yeah, and I don't try to make them care either. I just roll with the, with the flow. I, I, you know what I'm saying? They'll figure it out at some point when they see 
me snatch one of those artists out of there that's trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The next thing you know, they going, they getting blew up, man. They say, oh, nigga, you man, ain't got no uh, damn TikTok followers. Yo, you, you, you ain't, ain't got dancing. nothing. You can't dance, nigga. You ain't got nothing going. Yo. So all you doing is standing around, and you old, nigga. We twenty. Oh, I'm telling you. Hey, yeah. that, hey, look, <laughs> hey, you that's the youngest. Hey, that's the youngest thing. Nah, you the bro. old ass nigga out the way, man. <laughs> that's what they say. The old ass nigga out the way. That's their favorite word, man. They quick to call you old, man. I swear. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Man, I just be like, oh, whatever. Man. Bro, you old, bro. <laughs> right, That's right. a good thing. That's <laughs> a good thing. That really right, guarding you. You ain't got to worry about all the foolishness. You know what I'm saying? But let's, uh, let's, I mean, like I said, man, I asked you about Erica, but like I said, I'm a big fan of her. I got to say that. Right. I, I, when it comes to, I picked up music uh-huh. early on. I always yeah. rock with her music. I, th- I thought we were going to the top. You know what I'm saying? You made her mad, man. You I know, know it. I don't even know why I made her mad. Because, I, yeah. like I said, I was a big fan. Uh, still to this day, I don't have no issues with, with, you know, just her and what she got going. But I definitely uh, seen her early on. You know right. what I mean? I told you that. I right. seen her early on. Like, dang. But then when you linked up with it, was, you know, it was even better. So it was right. like, dang, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, man. I'm just looking for that raw talent. You know what I'm saying? See if they can spit. You know what I'm saying? When they got the uh, accent from where they from. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like that, too. So she had all everything that I was looking for. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, I know you and Smoothie, y'all parted ways. Right. And um, at the end of the day, I, I just, do you guys even have a relationship now? Do y'all talk? Nah. Nah, I'm going to let that stay right there. I don't never want to talk to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? So the contract That's, is uh, over with. Yeah, that was a, that was that was like the beginning of the artist development type thing that I was trying okay. to do. You know, so he was on one of those type of contracts for me. He never was really even signed to us. So okay. at the end of the day, you know, um yeah. Never really signed never, to you, but he put that fifteen oh one tattoo he on him. Yeah. I mean he was signed to us at the art development. You, you know gave him a yeah, chain? Yeah, I gave him a chain. Yeah, all that and that was that was that was that the was last what? time. <laughs> That I gave out a chain before I actually wanted to. I got pressured by people around me to do that. Yeah. Will you ever mm. sign like a, 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 a? Will you ever work with another East Texas artist? Um, I mean, yeah, the right one. I'll work with any artist that's that's that fit that fits the system. Like I said, I'm not gonna let uh, what happened in the past deter me from moving forward and trying to uh, keep continuing to do. You know what I do when you and when y'all was together, y'all had a dope chemistry too. Like I said, you be having a dope chemistry with these people, and y'all be running around, and y'all I be a, I be excited. It's like, yeah, I'm man. super yeah. excited. Yeah. Like nigga, it's up. We for the blow, and, yeah. and but I don't yeah. even know if the deal didn't happen. But I'm acting right, right, like it. You right. know, when I see right. everybody moving, right. I'm moving like yeah. Right. And then all of a sudden, I hear y'all get on this live. <laughs> Right. Once I see the damn live come, yeah. that's when I know. I'm like, damn, is this really happening? Yeah. Next thing you know, you see the emojis jumping and everything. You ain't be, do you do the live as much as you used to? Oh well, not as much as nah, I used to. I, but think I, go, so. I go, I go in and out of it. You know, what yeah. I'm like so, like, like saying we go to the studio, we get in the studio mode. You know, I might do it all that week or something like that. But I don't just like do it all the time no more because you know what I'm saying. I be home a lot, so you know what I'm saying. I don't be wanna. I don't like to let people know where I'm in real time. That's like, real. That's yeah. real, man. And and so yeah, that that's real. What what you got? So <laughs> I know okay. you. I, you looked at me and like I'll, she I'll gave me the look you. like let the yeah. nigga go on and let me get my my punch in. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. got an under or something. She finna throw. Is you going that little CEO? Is you going that Carl? No, Crawford? I'm going that Carl right okay, now. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's go and call again. Yeah. So Carl, I gotta ask this question. Um, so do you believe in God? Yes. Oh man. Yes, okay. I, I got it. Higher power, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey. See, I got to go to church, but I believe in God. I believe in I'm the same power. way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I, like I pastors, believe. I got an issue with pastors. I ain't gonna even much lie. You know what I'm saying? But I believe in being in the church, not, Carl. Problem, but your huh? pastor is not the way to God. I don't have a pastor. So, you know? yeah. so I'm just yeah. saying, the pastor <laughs> yeah, is not the way to God. Not for sure. Sure. But no, I have to ask those questions, especially because of what happened today. You know, losing. You know, rest in peace, Big D. Oh yeah. Um, Man, RIP to Big D, man. That's the the thing. You know, because as much as what I look at is the fact that he exercised, he eat right, he did all of that sort of stuff, and he's what about forty years old, not even that old. Yeah. And then just gone. He spoke to him yesterday and then gone today. You know right. what I mean? He got young kids, a wife. Right. And you look at situations like that and be like, why? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, and I always say everything happens for a reason for the, the main fact that in my mind, 
I'm saying what lesson did I need to learn from his life? Because I feel like each and every one of us are here to impact somebody. Right. So what lesson it is because that we all need to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. No matter how young you are or how old you are, there's something you need to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. I do. And, that, and, and that's why I don't, you know, I try to learn from everybody, you know, uh, being here and then not being here. You know, just, there's nothing you can do about that. Hopefully you can just serve or you can even, even figure out what your purpose is while you're here. Exactly. And serve it as much as you can until you leave. And, uh, you know, that's that. That's how I, uh, you know, go through life. With that, with that, I, that's the approach I take. Yeah. What would you want people to think of you as? Like, what legacy would you want to leave? Like I say, my thing, my, I, I, my purpose is to help others. You know what I'm saying? Any way I can. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't leave here until this... This monster image thing about me is, is over with because the people that really know me know that uh, all I've ever done is help people my whole life, and I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, you know, I feel like that's the only way I get my blessings. You know, mm -hmm. I can't talk about, um, you know, the settlement that we had, but, hey, God ain't giving nobody those type of settlements unless, you know, we did. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I must have did something right. I couldn't be as bad as a person as, uh, you know, I'm painted out on, mm -hmm. so, on social media getting this type of settlement, you know what I'm wow. talking about? So at the end of the day, that's God in my mind, you know, showing yeah. everybody that, hey, um, uh, just, you know, believe in me, stick with it. It was a four-year grind and we got right here and now we passed it. And, you know, that's the only way you was gonna, I, I could've got through it. That was some hard times for me yeah. those four years, just the whole bashing and the uh, defaming, just, you know what I'm saying? Just asking a lot of questions in your head, like, man, well, like, what is the reason for this? Like, I yeah. don't understand. I did everything right, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, Were you depressed at any point? I might have been depressed and didn't know it, you know what I'm saying? Because I got so much pride, you know, we Leos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got so much pride <laughs> that I'm not feeling like be like that. But you know what I'm saying? I probably had moments, you know, where I just like, was like, well, damn, you know, all I did was came back home, helped some people, and fuck, I got punished for it. Yeah, like, yeah. What, like what's what's the reason for this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I didn't have to do none of this stuff. I could have put that, uh, kept that money for my kids and all kind of stuff. Yeah. But I, I decided to come home, help a guy that was, was 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 he was already managing two of the biggest stars in the world with Power Wall and Mike Jones, and he was damn near homeless. I come and help this guy, and he he do what he do to me, and I helped this girl that was in a one bedroom apartment with her mother and. And, and shit, I'm the person that's that's bad. You know I what gotta I'm ask you so, about you this know, undisclosed so. amount. Now you done said <laughs> nah, you know you nah. got enough and all nah, that. You nah, you ain't got, nah, you ain't got. Nah, yeah, you done put that. You said that. I, I didn't get enough. I didn't get enough. What I was about to ask you, like, do you feel like everything that you invested in it, you feel comfortable to say I am good now with the whole situation? Well, yeah, I'm good with the whole situation. Got everything back that was owed to me. Every single penny. All right, know that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I can move forward and I had to fight for that. They made me fight really, really hard for that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I can only do that with God. You know that's what I'm saying? Real. That's the only way I got through it. You know what I'm saying? No, that's real. I mean, I, I just heard you when you went yeah. there, I had to get in there. You know nah, what I'm saying? For sure, you for know, sure. I'm open and under, <laughs> nah, man. man. You're going to make me get, get, my, get, my, get my settlement before this. They're going to be talking about nah, bring no, shit back. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hey, that is, we are not you know, doing that. I just want to make sure. Up there, man. I They'll just want to make sure that you good. I didn't ask you for no damn amount. Now, don't put me. I'm not in that car. No, no, man. Hey, hey. You're going to have them, gonna have them, gonna Listen, have them people up. We got to put some. I don't want to hear that. That's why I'm blocking what the conversation is, man. Like, little CEO, man, you ain't heard me say nothing wrong. Right. Mm. All right, yeah, I just I just ride what he said, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pull you in. Nah, you for sure. So, so what, what, what do you want to, what, what when you first started this music venture as a kid, like, growing up, when did you start music? Shit, yeah. I've been wanting to do murder since I was a little boy. Like, Six, five in my grandma's house. Okay. Look, looking at all the rappers and Real quick. all that type of stuff. Tell him, yo, he said daddy was a rapper. What? My, my, yeah. my daddy tried it. <laughs> she said he tried it. My, my, my daddy and I said, man. What's but, his real name, rap name? His real rap name. 
See, look. She I'm, look, 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 look. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. When it get back to my dad, he going to say, man, why you say that shit, man? No, I'm with you. He don't want you to hear yeah. me rapper. Because I had to. Oh, they don't rapper. Man. The nigga fell off. Look, he, he barely started. He, he was like my age when he did it. So he going to come back to me like, man, why you did that, man? No, nah, but what you did? <laughs> That nigga, that nigga went in. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, is there some videos out there? Man, he got one video on YouTube. I'm looking for it. <laughs> From back in the day, we were like 1990. Oh, yeah, that nigga went in, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, was you impressed uh, by it when you look up? you like, that nigga old. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about science stuff I talk about. Yeah. Right now? Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. That's the science stuff I was so, talking about. So, so. Prodigy Kids, man. That's what I like. You know that's what I'm saying? Megan was a Prodigy Kid. Her mama was a rapper, too. So really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's uh, that's who they get it from. So when I hear about these prodigy kids, I I, I even I, you know what I'm saying I want to develop them even more because I know it's something in them. You know what I'm talking about that's gonna come out. Wow. So you know? I mean, uh, what when you what 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 was the give me a little spiel of the rhyme that you don't <laughs> don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> give me a little spiel of what you said on that rhyme that you sent to them. Did they see it on the live? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what song was it? It was on feet. Let me hear the first verse or something. I don't want the insta be on trying to go to where you be. I drop a dredge like a freak. They got the message, but we ain't sending shit with bullets at they T. Everybody around me bump down and pull up on shit just like some sheep. Won't let she slide because every nigga around me wash it down on feet. Man, that's how it went down, right? Yeah. No, and then next thing you know, call in your inbox. You know what I'm saying? Man, no. I ain't hear from these folks to like three, four months, man. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. So look, though, but I kept sending my mercy just to send it. Yeah. Cause I was like, yeah, I ain't even worry. I'm just keep sending it, though. That's hard. Call. I like that. Yeah. But, 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 but Darren, you know what I'm saying? Darren, Darren, it, you was on there another time, though, huh? Yeah, I, I went on there like two, three more times. Yeah. Yeah, he was on there. Yeah, he was on there a couple times. Every time he kept in, he kept going in. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To the fact of, uh, you know, because I can't see nobody, you know what I'm saying? I can just hear him, you know, so. Um, you knew his voice. Yeah, I knew his little voice, but but like I say, Darren was like, he was like, you know, kept on uh, kept on bringing it to the forefront to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I asked him what's going on, mm -hmm. and he knows he's looking for artists and stuff, so uh, we were doing a lot of transitioning with bringing in a new team in 1501, so. Was Baby Joker part of the new team or the old team? Oh, he, he part of the... Because uh, he in the middle, he, right? He was, he was... No, no. When I say new team, I'm talking about, like, staff. Staff, you know what right, I'm saying? right. So, uh, Joker's been around. Yeah, he's been around since the old team and, and the new team, yeah. <laughs> but so, no. Let's see. So, um, what part... Of, where exactly are you from? I'm from Mars, Mississippi. Okay. What? That's what look, I thought. You said, Dally. Dally. No. you said Dally. I was going to say something. Man, like, nigga, you better get your ass booted I'm out from Dally. Dally. Shout out Mississippi. Do Miss you Simi. live in Dallas? Yeah, I've been there. I went to school down here. Where? So, uh, I heard you know if a nigga come out? Lancaster. Let me tell you something. Wait. If somebody started something saying they was from a certain town and a nigga got on here and out of them and said they wasn't from where they said they were from, and yeah, it can be like that. So let's tell. I ain't say you call. I didn't say you. No, no, because I got a situation like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna say nothing, though. No. Like, why you say you have a situation that I don't know what I'm saying? <laughs> I no, I'm all I'm saying. So you from what part of Mississippi you from? This is the Delta, Mars, Mississippi. Where's Mars by? This is like by Clarksdale, Batesville, and okay. it's like a. I knew hour he from wasn't Memphis. from Dallas because his accent is like it's an totally hour from Memphis. different. Yeah. So and that's, that's <laughs> another thing. But what what grade were you in when you moved to Dallas? I was like five when I came down. I was, I was young when I came down. You were five, but I always went back down. There. But you always went back home. Yeah. That's hard, man. Like, so I'm glad I'm glad we got that out the way because nigga wouldn't be like, that nigga ain't from Dallas. That nigga don't even wear his hair like Dallas, nigga. He got to have yeah. the shag. <laughs> nigga ain't got the shag. That nigga ain't got the shag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, we ain't doing no yellow bees or nothing. Man, man. that's all right, man. Yellow bees. Don't talk about Listen. Ain't no wrong with it. I done seen you for rocking. I done seen you for rocking. I look hard. Yeah. And I ain't my style. I like these. Yeah, yeah. All, all that, new generation. All you young bro, niggas running around with these damn uh, chains in y'all head. Including my son. Yeah. I can't deal with it, bruh. Don't you know when the police stop you, how they act when they see y'all? You know, I be on some old man stuff. Boy, cut your damn hair off. <laughs> now, don't you, don't you do it. Like, what? so what do you expect to, when is the first song, uh, have y'all dropped a single yet? We got, we got, we got, uh, you know what I'm saying? We finna drop a uh, single here coming up. You know what I'm saying? We uh, been shooting a couple of videos, but we finna, we finna roll all his little stuff out for y'all to see, man. Already. Like, we, we, we been keeping it tight, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, like, like I say, 
All his numbers do 30 plus. He only got 7,000 followers. So he already got a little base of people that just want to see him every time he posts something. So we we packaging it up and, and it's it's about to see it. Yeah. What do you think your down. fans love about you the most? Man. <laughs> shit, I'm young and shit. I just be doing me. Like, I'm just telling my life, yeah. my story. Yeah. And I guess both like. In a short summary, tell me about you. Uh oh. Um, she going in on you. I'm a young man trying to figure out life. I got picked up at the right time by a label. Not nobody uncle in the basement. They got a couple thousand to put up by a good label. You hear me? So, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get though. <laughs> Yeah, what, 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 the twin, the, 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 Five hundred a uh, uh, silver chain shit. Like I that. can get some niggas for that. Bro. That's what I'm. You <laughs> sign me. That's what I'm saying. Folks just be signing to anybody, right? Uh, five hundred dollars. Yeah. Man, uh, folks sign anybody. That's a, that's a cash advance. Shit, that's for them. Damn. And this is who I got picked up by. Hey, uh, that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. So, so Carl, man, I'm gonna be looking forward to that, man. How can people get a hold of this young man if they looking tell for him? Tell him. My all my social media is Lil CEO L U H C E O underscore. And call, y'all, y'all follow his uh, YouTube. Same thing with you, Carl. How can YouTube people YouTube get on, hold of you? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, 1501 certified oh, NT. Follow us on social media. That's all I got right there, you know. Um, but, That's uh, all uh, like I say, man, let, let's see, yo, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't like f- officially broke like a like a male artist, you know what I'm saying? And that's been like the knock on us. So, you yeah. know, I've been, so you think he's the one? I mean, we got Joker, we got him. I'm, I'm hoping it's both <laughs> of them. You know what I'm saying? That's so, it. Uh, but I, I definitely want to give myself a, a real good shot at it this year. Are you looking for another audition. female? You know, I'm, you know, I'm always. He's always. That. <laughs> that's my bread and butter. <laughs> that's but, it. You know, at the end of the day, I ain't gonna force that. Like over the years, I think I kind of was. Um, the last few trials, I think I might have tried to force that a little bit more than, like, you know what I'm saying, I naturally would have. So I want to kind of fall back and relax a little bit with it, let it kind of come to me and, you know, kind of, you know, just kind of let it happen naturally. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. All right. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we yeah. out.